What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a closer look at one of China's latest Mars photos from the Zurong rover. And I think what you're going to find is that they're mimicking the same thing NASA does. So the question is, are they there for the same things that NASA is? Absolutely. Let me explain. NASA's up there is not to look at just soil and, and rocks and stuff like that. It's a recon mission, right? They know that there's a civilization on Mars. They're going there to look over and close up at these objects that have been left over from a civilization from Mars's past. Okay, and China's not any different. They're doing the very same thing. And if you believe that they won't hide anything or blur anything out of this photo, I'm going to demonstrate that they are. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, here's the page from China National Space Administration. And you can see the orbiter here and a close-up here. Now, a little history about this spacecraft. It was launched in July 2020. It entered into Martian orbit on February 10th. It then touched down on Mars on May 15th. And then on May 22nd, the Chinese rover Zhurong traveled onto the Martian surface. Now, the photo we're looking at today is down here. You just want to right-click on this photo. And folks, if you're ripping this photo apart, like I did, you want to take it into your software and you want to enlarge it. And I'm going to show you that right now. And then I'm going to show you the, the blurring and then we're going to jump right into this. Let's just jump into Photoshop. You can see how big this photo was and how big it is now. Okay. Now, first thing I noticed, major blurring, like in this area right here, major blurring. In fact, you don't have to do a thing to this photo. You can see that. Even if the photo is breaking up and everything else, it doesn't matter. Look at this. This whole area is completely blurred out. Why is that? Okay. And there's so much more. You can see it in the back. Just look in the background of this. It looks like they used a pattern that goes like this. And they just kind of did this right across here with extra lines and stuff like that. We got more blurring here just below that other big spot right here. Now let's just take a look at this photo in one of the raw plates. And we're going to use yellow plating. And folks, look at the way they took this thing out. Look at this. Are you serious? What is going on here? But then look at the back. Now, people say, well, those are compression artifacts. Really? Because why is this completely blacked out this way when you should see square, 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 and so on and so forth? They should be right next to each other. They are not. And now, if you look at the horizon, Look at the way they doubled up on this blurring because something or many things is sticking up off of this so-called surface. Okay, here's another thing. Have a look at these objects in the back here, folks. That doesn't look like something from a planet that's been wind-torn or wind-worn because we know even 300 mile an hour winds, which don't equate to 300 because of the air or the, the atmosphere in Mars, it's more like about 50, 60 miles an hour here on Earth. I don't know about you folks, but I would not want to be battered over thousands of years in the face at all with 50 to 60 mile an hour winds with sand particles in it. I just wouldn't want that. Okay, so let's go back to the original photo right here. Go back in. Now, folks, check this out. Again, something right here. You can see other pieces sticking up, but I got news for you. It doesn't stop there. They go deeper. Something right here. Got this weird piece right there. Looks like it's top of it's like shiny. Bottom, it looks like it's darker right there. See it? You also want to take a look at anything that may be visible already. Like, here's a perfect example. You can see these weird shapes right here. Something right here. And you can see it's got blur sitting right in front of it. Okay. Slide it over. Folks, I'm looking at this right here. And I don't know about you, but it looks like it's just a bunch of pipes doing this. And the ends of them are right here. Coming straight out. At least that's my initial thought, right? We have something here. I'm not even sure what this is. Right behind their insignia. Check this out. And again, folks, this is from the stock photo. I haven't done a thing to this. Right there. I haven't done a thing to it. This is it. And yet you can see some of these things are right there in the photo. Let's back out. Let's take out some of the crap color. And again, we can still see these objects right here. They look like they're sticking up. They look cylindrical like this piece right here. 
Let's see, it's going down. It's got this weird piece right here. Again, brighter on the top, darker on the bottom. We have what looks like this rectangular piece. You got these pieces right here. Folks, you can just see these objects. Look, look at this right here. Like bands of blurring. Check that out. And if we look at the raw plating of this photo, look at it. Look what they've done to it. Detail here, inside this box, the rest of it's scrapped. So you know they're not compression artifacts. You can tell that. This part down here, look what they've done. What is going on? It simply doesn't make sense. It really does not, folks. Look at the bands of lighter and darker. Certain areas all over down here. Look at it. Whiter, darker. Now what we're going to do now, folks, we're going to jump into the fully enhanced photo. Wait until you see this. Let's zoom right in to the left-hand side. Right here. Folks, look at this stuff. And also take note of the pieces that are just below it. Look at the lines inside the darker areas. You see that right there? You can see this item right here. Yeah, there's more stuff in here, folks. And you can see this other line doing this. Take note of this area right here. Okay. We can look at it right here, folks. You can literally see that line. But what they did do it was really trying to hide it if they could. It's right there. Other straight lines in here. Again, look into the docky areas. I didn't even go all the way into right to this edge here. Again, that line. Look at this. There's one here. Got this straight one again right here. Look at the other pieces. One here. These parts have literally been covered over by a manipulation. And you can see that. Look at this part. Something bigger right next to it. See that? There's something on top of that. You can see that. Now, is this in the actual photo? It's right there. I can see it right here. See that? Even like that. I can see the square piece. This is doing this. Of course, I've over-exaggerated that, but you can see this other part here. Folks, what is going on here? This part. Notice how it looks relatively clear. All of a sudden down here, they just kind of like this. You can see where they went over this. See that? But you can actually see the shape of this set item. And it's got legs on it. It's got, you can see something doing this. Got a round circle here. This comes down. Looks like you can see just something right there inside. And then it gets blurry right here. See that little round piece? Check that out. These pieces in the background. Move over to the right. Just bits and pieces at times, folks. That's all you can pull out sometimes. That's that's what it is. It's the nature of the beast. Here's that area that was completely blurred out in the beginning. Hmm. Is that actually in there? It absolutely is. It's right here, folks. You can see it. Okay. When you see this enhanced, it looks like a computer keyboard. This is doing this. There's something on this side. Enhance it. Folks, what are we seeing here? And again, you can see that nice blurring effect going on right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, these space agencies wouldn't lie. Come on now. Folks, I'm not sure what to make of these. If the civilization on Mars was actually smaller people or beings, this would make absolute sense. They don't look super, super big. Here's that object I was telling you about right behind their insignia. And again, you can see that right here in the photo. What I said looks like these piping or some kind of structure. I'm not sure what to make of that. We'll go back and forth. You can see that. This piece right here. Look how badly this has been blurred over and texture put over it. And oh my God. We'll put that in black and white for you. Is. 
Like I said, sometimes all it is is just pulling pieces out. That's all you're doing. Get rid of some of the colors. Go back and forth to black and white so this way it doesn't fool with your eyes as far as color-wise. But again, folks, look at this. Objects right here in the photo. And you can see things that are real close to each other doing this. And whatever's on top of that. Okay. And this whole area right here on the left. Look at it. <laughs> Pieces right here on the right. See how this band of blur? And they just keep doing it. You can see another one here. It's like it's an offset kind of pattern, what they're trying to throw over this. And yet, you can still bring out some of this stuff. See that? Folks, I think this is off in the distance, but I'm not sure how big this stuff really is. Now, you can see it's not very far from this rover. And I don't think the rover is that much bigger than the Spirit or Opportunity rover that we have on Mars. I don't think it's any bigger. How big are these objects? Because you could tower right over it. So how far are they away? I don't think they're that far at all, truthfully. I'm just going to go back and forth a little bit. There it is. Just burn it out. There's something right here. You can see that inside this blurring. Look at the shapes. Look at the lines of said items. Look at this thing. That doesn't look natural to me. Look at these small pieces here. Something right there. Yeah, folks, it's right there, right in front of the Zurong rover from China, and you can see this. So are they any different than the United States hiding this stuff? Absolutely not. In my opinion, I see what looks like structures. That's what they look like to me. Different parts laying on the ground right here, and all of these little pieces that are being almost completely covered up. There's another one right here. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but there it is. That one there, I believe, is really hard to see, but it is, in fact, there. It's right there. Yeah. We can go back and forth and see that. Right-hand side again. If we look into this part of the photo as well, we see something doing this. We can see what looks like lines doing this. Can you folks see that right there? It's all inside this blur. Some of the stuff is not taken out quite as badly. And this is the reason why you're able to bring out bits and pieces. You can still see this stuff here, like I said this one earlier. But you can see this, the way the ground is actually made up. This is not natural by any stretch. And yet they want to play it off like the average person, and I mean China's public as well. They must think people are nothing but a bunch of mushrooms and that they're stupid and they couldn't pull the stuff out. Well, I got news for them. They're no better. They're liars. And you hate to say that. But again, I'm all for a space program. I, I love the idea of space and the technology and everything else that they're coming out with, right? But tell the people the truth. Why is it so hard to tell the truth? I think people would be blown away to see the actual photo, to, meaning untouched, not messed with, to see this stuff. It would be fantastic. I would love to see this. The real deal. I know you folks agree. I'm going to leave this right here. This way we get the whole photo in the screen. Folks, pause it right here. Take out your magnifiers. I did earlier, and wow, there's some things that you can't see just by looking at the screen. Just don't go in too far with the magnifier because you want to see all of the stuff. You don't want to see it broken up. You want to see all of the lines. You want to see everything there. This is absolute proof, again, that we're being lied to, and this goes for everybody around the world including China's public. It's not right, and I think they should demand answers. But there you go. Folks, like I just said, I think the public in China should actually demand the truth, just like we should with NASA. It's outrageous how much they lie and what's really in these photos. You can clearly see this stuff without having to do much to it. Don't do anything. Just look at the left side. Why is the ground all just, you know, just basically dust and little rocks and stuff like that? And then you got things that are sticking right out of there, and they just happen to be a whole different color than the ground itself. And then you take off the filter, and you don't see this orange anymore. Then you start to break this photo down, bring out the lines. And you can see, and I've shown this, like bands of blurring and darkness and light and just crazy patterns they put up to try to fool your eyes. Why is that? 
I think that's a disgrace. Folks, stop demanding the truth from your space agencies. It's not right. That's just the way I feel. Anyway, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think, because I'm always curious as to what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Anyway, folks, more crazy ones come up. I got another moon one coming up as well. And by the way, I actually have an observation about China's uh, orbiter that I'm also going to share in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.